Hi, it's Julie, and today we are going to do a low impact cardio hit workout. No jumping. You don't have to jump at all, but you're still going to get your heart rate high and you're still going to work hard. We are going to go through each movement for 30 seconds. And we're going to rest for 15. There are no repeats. So if you don't like an exercise, you only have to do it once. It's going to be short, but we're going to put all our energy into this workout and work hard. So all you need is a little space around you. I'm going to wear shoes, but you could be barefoot because we're not going to be jumping. Water nearby, a sweat towel if you need one, and we're going to warm up and jump right into the workout. So we are going to warm up our body for a few minutes. We're going to get moving and we're going to keep a quick pace going. Are you ready? Let's march it out. High knees, bring those knees up as high as you can. We're going to get our body ready to work. Now, there's no jumping, no impact, but I do want high intensity. I want you working hard. You can get a good workout with your feet staying on the floor, but I need you to work. A couple more. Okay, we're going to squat. And now I want you to bend over, touch the floor. And squat back, bend over, touch the floor. We're just getting our legs warm. A little stretch right here. And if you can't touch the floor, touch your shins. Or touch your quads. A few more. Last one. Reach it up nice and tall and stretch to the side. And let's go right to left. Just reaching like you're trying to grab something at the other side of the room. And reach. A few more. And last one, roll those shoulders back. Just nice big circles. And let's go forward. Ooh, my shoulders are actually a little sore from a workout I filmed for you yesterday. So if you haven't checked that out, it's shoulders and legs. All right, we are going to do a squat, leg lift. Just get some blood flow in those legs. I'm trying to get out as much variety in workouts for you. I'm trying to get out weight training, cardio, core. If you want to have variety for you to choose from, then you can do it at home. So if you haven't done any other workouts, you can give those a try. A couple more. Now I want you to take your leg back, push your heel to the floor, and then lean forward a little bit so we get a stretch down the back of our leg. We're not going to hold these stretches long. We're just getting our legs ready. Let's switch. We'll hold longer stretches at the end. Is your heart rate up a little bit? Are you ready to work? I'm super ready to work. Love low impact cardio. It's great. Feet together, deep breath up. Let's get ready to work. If you need a sip of water, get it right now. So 30 seconds, each move, 15 second rest. We're gonna move through them very quickly. Short workout, we're gonna get in, get it done. Your first move, you're gonna have your hands up behind your head. You're gonna bend in half at the waist. Come up, squat back. Actually, you're more bending at the hips. It's a hinge and up. We call this a good morning and squat. So we're gonna do that for 30 seconds. We're gonna rest. I'll give you the next move. We're gonna keep going. So get your feet about hip width apart. Slight bend in your knees, hands up here behind your head. Kind of like the way we would do a crunch, and here we go. And bend, and squat. And bend, and squat. You can have a slight bend in your knees when you do that good morning. You don't need to have your knees locked. And then you're squatting back. And squat back. Are you almost there? Last one. A 
Okay, rest for 15 seconds. Your next move is a squat and knee lift. So you're gonna squat back, pull your knee up. Squat back, pull your knee up. So we're just gonna alternate. To make this a little easier, don't squat as low. So you can do a little squat, a little lift. Otherwise, squat it all the way back. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Here we go. Squat and lift. Try to pull that knee high and squat low. Woo, is your heart rate climbing? There you go. Hang in there. Almost there. And rest. Your next move is a windmill. So you're gonna reach, come up, and reach. We're just gonna alternate going back and forth for 30 seconds. So a little bit of a wide stance here and you do want your booty to go back. Are you ready? Here we go. Reach and reach. If you cannot reach the floor, come here and touch your quad. Or if you can't quite reach the floor, but you can make it to your shin, that's great too. Use those arms, help keep your heart rate up. You're almost there. Hang in there. And rest. Take a deep breath. Get a sip of water if you need. We're going into our next move. It's a skater. You're gonna step and lunge back. Just gonna go back and forth for 30 seconds. You ready? Here we go. Almost like a curtsy lunge. We're just not going very deep. I like to alternate with a little bicep curl here. Hang in there, you're almost done. And rest. Woo, 15 seconds. <clears throat> you have your next move. Floor touch, reach to the side. Floor touch, reach to the side. So you're gonna twist with that reach. Ready, here we go, and down. Reach and reach. If you can't touch the floor, right here at your quads. That's great too. Your heart rate should be climbing. When we get these level changes going, it really gets our heart rate up there. And rest, Whew. take a deep breath. <clears throat> this is just gonna be squat, step, touch. You're gonna stay in your squat and you're just gonna touch back and forth. That's all you're gonna do, just stay low. Whew. I'm a little out of breath, can you tell? Here we go, squat down, step, touch, back and forth. As low as you can stay. To modify this, you can be up higher, but I want you to be low if you can. Keep going, you can just swing your arms back and forth. Almost there. And rest. Ooh, how are you doing? Okay, this next one, you're gonna lunge back, kick to the front. We're just gonna alternate. Lunge back, kick to the front. Are you ready? Here we go. Lunge back. Kick to the front, switch legs, lunge back, and kick. There you go. doing. This time you're going to do floor touch, cross your toe in the front, and just alternating back and forth. Take a deep breath. Here we go. Touch the floor, cross your foot. 
Try to squeeze that inner thigh when you cross. If you need to modify, you're just here. Just putting your hands on your quads. Make sure that booty's going backwards so that we're not making our knee jet out in front of our ankle. Hang in there. One more. Rest. How are you doing? We're going to the floor for a plank toe touch. So, straight arm plank, you're gonna be here and you're just gonna touch your toe in, touch your toe in, touch your toe out, touch your toe out. We're gonna do that back and forth for 30 seconds. Are you ready? Here we go. Touch it in, in and out, out. Bring your belly button in, draw it in towards your spine and make sure that your weight is over your shoulders and your hands. burpee. No jumping, so don't panic. I'm going to face this way. You're going to be in a squat. Put your hands on the floor, step back, come back together, and you're just here. So you're not standing all the way up. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Are you ready? Come down to your squat, and here we go. Down, step back, and in, up, down. So you don't come out of that squat. You bring your hands up like you're going to catch the ball. How are you doing? Hang in there, you're almost done. Rest. You guys are doing such a good job. Okay, we've got a knee pull with a twist. So what you're gonna do is twist and pull your knee. Twist and pull your knee. We're gonna do all the right side, then all the left side. So we'll 30 seconds on the right, 30 seconds on the left. Ready, here we go. So pull, pull. So you're wanting to rotate the upper body while you pull the knee in. Are you breathing hard? <laughs> Sorry if you can hear me huffing and puffing, but this is, this is real, friends. I'm working hard, just like you. Getting a little core work here. Hang in there, you have five seconds. Rest. Let's do the other direction. We've got the other side. Take your deep breath. If you need that quick sip of water, take it. Arms up, are you ready? Here we go, and twist. You're doing so great. And really engage that core so you can feel that work when you do the twist. You should be able to feel it in your standing leg as well. Almost there. And rest. I'm getting a sip of water. I am working hard. Okay, let's move on. So you're gonna do front kick, front kick, side squat, side squat. Those are your two moves. We're just alternate between those two for 30 seconds. Take a deep breath, are you ready? Here we go, and kick, kick, squat, squat, and kick, kick, squat, squat. It doesn't matter how high you kick your leg, so don't feel like you have to get it crazy high. So even right here, totally fine. But if you can kick it higher, do it. Do whatever works for you, challenge yourself. Can I get it a little higher? Don't fold in half though. One more time. Oh, rest. My heart 
rates high, friends. We're working hard, I love it. Okay, what you're gonna do is a sumo, sumo squat, kick to the side. Woo, yes. We'll do all one side, then we'll go to the other. Are you ready? That kick can be low or high, whichever works for you. Ready? Here we go. So you squat it out, come together, kick your leg, and squat, kick, squat, kick. Call this a roundhouse kick. So if someone's coming after you, you just give them a good kick. Aiming right at their belly button or their chest or their knees, depending on where your kick is. Almost there, you got four seconds. One more. Take a deep breath. We do the same exact thing to the other side. So you're gonna sumo squat out this way and kick. Are you ready? You've got three seconds. Here we go. Squat it out and whoa. I'm sorry, I'm super bad at the <laughs> sound effects. I need to work on that. Sometimes it helps to just, pew, yeah. Like just put a little, ugh. Take out your aggression right there. Someone's in your way, ha. <laughs> You're almost done. There is like no end to the silliness when I'm by myself. With other people, not so much. By myself, totally. And finish. How'd you do? Did you kick away the bad guys? Okay. What you have now? is you are going to do cross punch, reach in the middle. Cross punch, reach in the middle. I want to see a little elevation change. So down for the punch, up. Down for the punch, up. You can come up to your toes too. Take a deep breath and really put energy into that punch. Are you ready? Take a deep breath, here we go. Punch and up, punch, up. We're punching right at our shoulder height. And up. You reach tall punch. Woo, go. Hang in there. I kind of rotate my back foot in my shoe so I can just slide into that lunge. One more and rest. You guys are doing awesome. We're going to jacks, no jumping. You're just gonna be here. So you're just stepping out, same arms as you would for a jack. Ready? Here we go. Jack it out. I actually love jumping jacks, like seriously love jumping jacks. And I love to do all sorts of variations of them. Sometimes it's just nice to take out the jump, you know? We need to protect our joints, we don't always have to jump. That's a lesson I have to keep telling myself because I really like to jump, but I'm no spring chicken and I want to work out for a long time, so I gotta be careful. And rest. My heart rate's high as yours. Okay, you have side lunge, leg lift. So we'll do all to the left, all to the right. And you're gonna lunge to the side, come up, kick to the side. So deep lunge, kick to the side. That's your move. Are you ready? <laughs> when you lunge, go back. Here we go. Lunge back and kick. Lunge back. Actually, not a kick, a lift. A lift, friends. I miss using my words. So really sink down into that squat. It's really like a squat on one leg and then lift that leg. You don't have to go low if you need to modify. Almost there. Last one. Let's do the other side. So this time, you'll squat this way, lift your leg. You've got five more seconds of breathing until we jump back in. Are you ready? Here we go. Squat it back and lift. Really squeeze those glutes as you lift. Let's get a little toning action here. You guys are doing amazing. I am so, so proud of you. Hang in there. 
here. Almost there, five seconds. Feeling your legs and rest. Next move. You have twist, twist, knee. Twist, twist, knee. So what we'll do, all to one side and then we'll switch. Guard up. Are you ready? Twist, twist, knee. It's actually three twists because you get that little twist in there before you get the knee. Brace those abs. This is where you get to use your core. Make sure you breathe. Can you hear me? I'm huffing and puffing. You're almost there. And rest. We're gonna do the exact same thing. It's just the knee lift will be on the other leg. Take a deep breath, get a sip of water if you need it. I am super sweaty. How about you? Are you a little shiny? Guard up, here we go. There we go, I had to get my rhythm going. There you go, twist, use those abs, pull that belly button towards the spine, and really think about those abs as you're twisting and you're pulling your knee up. You're almost there. One more. Rest. Excellent job. I'm getting a sip of water. That was a lot of work. All right. You've got a squat step out. Exactly the way it sounds. You're just going to step back and forth, but you're going to stay low. So take a deep breath. We're getting close to the end, friends. Are you ready? Bring yourself down low. Here we go. Step it out, together. Out, together. Yes, here we are. As low as you can stay. Excellent job, you guys. Keep the core pulled in. Always keep the core pulled in. Always embracing the core. You're using it in everything you do. If you use it. We're almost there. You feeling your legs? And rest. Woo. Okay, we've got another kicking combination. Let's start on your left. You're gonna kick to the left, and then with your right, kick back. So you're kicking front, kicking back. Does that make sense? Alternating, and then we'll switch with our lead leg. I'm gonna turn a little sideways for you. Take a deep breath. Whew. Are you ready? Here we go. And kick, and kick, kick, kick. So you kinda wanna lean back, lean front, yeah? Make sure you don't have furniture that you're gonna kick, that you've got a little space around you. Doesn't matter how high you kick. You kick at your level. I'm just kind of rotating my arms with it, almost like I'm running. Almost there. And rest. Excellent job. We have the other side. That's the thing with two legs. You're going to do both sides. Take a deep breath. You have five seconds. We're going to go again. So this time you'll kick front with your left. Are you ready? Here we go. And kick. And back. Close the door in front of you. Close the door behind you. What am I going to tell you to use? Your core. Hang in there. You're doing amazing. Almost there. You got five seconds. Rest. Oh. Good job, you guys. Very, very, very good job. 11. All right, we are going to do an arabesque glute lift. So what you're going to do is squat and lift. Squat and lift. So we're just going to alternate between right and left with a squat in the middle. Really squeeze those glutes when you're lifting your leg. Are you ready? Take a deep breath. Make sure you're not going to kick anything. Here we go. Squat and lift. Squat and lift. Lift. 
There you go. Arms overhead like you're holding a beach ball. If you don't want to use your arms, you can keep them tucked in. Hang in there, you're almost done. And rest. How are you feeling? Are you feeling good? Okay, we are almost done. Just have two moves left. This move, squat, squeeze your leg to the side. Squat, squeeze your leg to the side. Yeah, we did a lot of that kind of stuff today, but it's good, right? Take a deep breath. Let's do this. Let's finish strong. Here we go. Squat and lift. Squat, lift. I actually love to do these on leg day with resistance bands. These are awesome. We have one more move after this and then you get to cool down. If you're still here with me, I'm super proud of you. So happy to have you here. Almost there. One more, let's just get one more. And rest. You get to go to the floor for this last one, so yay. Okay, Russian twist, all core. You're just gonna go elbow to the floor, elbow to the floor. You can either keep your feet on the floor or you can lift them. That is up to you, depending on how you feel and the strength of your core. Really pull that belly button in, like you're almost kind of scooping your abs and keep your chest lifted. I don't want you rounded. Are you ready? Here we go. And touch back and forth. You just want to try to get your elbow to touch the floor. If you can't quite get to the floor, just reach for it with your elbow. Back and forth. Keep going. Don't have to breathe. We don't need to hold our breath. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, one. I don't know about you guys, but I am sweating profusely. It's running out of my hairline. <laughs> That's a sign of a good workout. Okay, come on up. We're gonna stretch you out, get you on with your day. Oh, okay, what we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch, but with a little bit of mobility, just to kind of work on the mobility of your hips. So what we're gonna do to start out is we're gonna do a hip roll, and you'll step back, do the other side. We're cooling ourselves down, but we're also gonna work on that mobility in our hips. Here we go. So you're gonna roll your hip, step back, do the other side, roll your hip, and you're just coming up and around. It doesn't matter how high you are. I just want you to move in your hip socket. Now I grew up dancing and my hips click a lot. Um, I've sustained a lot of damage to my body as a dancer, pretty common. So I've got clicky hips, knees that have dislocated, well, one of them like 18 times, yeah, a lot. But I have found they've gotten better as I have focused on strength. So when I was, I don't know, 19 or 20, I really got into focusing on strength and they got so much better. Just by strengthening all the muscles around the areas that were problems for me. And I have not dislocated a knee now in about 22 years. That's a good thing for me. <laughs> Two more. Okay, we're gonna go to leg kicks. You're gonna kick and kick. Just kick right in front of you, step back. If you don't wanna march your feet, you can just alternate your kicks. I like to kick, step it back, like I'm winding up for the next kick. I promise we're gonna stretch. That's coming up. But we're just cooling down our body. You are getting a little stretch here, by the way. Let's do two more. Ah, awesome, okay. What you're gonna do, if you need to hold on to something, do that, but you're gonna take your ankle in your hand 
push your hip and your quad forward so we get a nice stretch down the front of our quadricep. I just like to keep my other hand out for balance, but you can hold onto a wall, a chair, countertop, anything. I am always wanting to work my balance, so I try to as much as I can because it's my weakest area is balance. Which is what made me a terrible gymnast because I could not stay on the balance beam. <laughs> just hold that, really push that forward. If you get your booty going backwards, you lose this stretch. So you really gotta push it forward. Let's switch. So other hand ankle. So see if I'm here, no stretch. You really wanna push your hip bone forward so that you feel the stretch down the front of your quadricep. And don't skip the stretch at the end of a workout. Sometimes we finish and we're like, yes, done, and we just lay on the floor. But we really do need to stretch and cool down. It really is important for your body. It will help with soreness too if you stretch. Let that go. Go back to your first leg that you stretched. Put it out in front of you with your heel to the floor and your toes up. And then you're going to sit back in the opposite side and really get another stretch down that hamstring. We kind of stretch the hamstrings with those kicks, but we're really going to sink into this now. You can actually grab your toe and pull back if you want, or even reach for the floor to deepen that stretch. Whatever you need to do. You can be up here, just don't press into your kneecap. If you need to press, hold onto your thighs. Are you sweating? I hope so. I am sweating a lot. Some people don't sweat. That's not always an indicator that you got a great workout, but I'm drenched. Let's switch. So you're gonna put the other foot forward. When I was teaching dancers in class, I was so embarrassed because I would just be sweating profusely. I was constantly apologizing to them. Like, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm drenched in sweat. I do like getting sweaty though. It makes me feel like I worked hard. Okay, bring that foot in. Now we'll go back to that first leg that you did. You're gonna step back. In the beginning, we put our heel to the ground. Instead, what I want you to do is tuck your tailbone under and then press down. So you should get a stretch down the front of your hip flexor, down your quadriceps. So almost like a lunge, except that you're totally tucking under your tailbone. And the lower you go, the more you should feel it right here down the front of your hip flexor. We're just going to hold that. Is your heart rate coming down? Do you feel like you can talk a little bit better? Are you breathing a little easier? We want to give our body that chance to cool down after we get our heart rate high. All right, let's switch. So take the other leg back and then tuck under your tailbone and take it down. So did you work hard without jumping? Yeah, I totally did. Sometimes I feel like I work harder without the jump because I will really go deeper into the motions. Whereas when you're jumping, you can kind of go through them quickly. And I feel like working without the jumping really makes me work harder. I should do it more often. <laughs> I just can't get over the jumping. I love to jump for some reason. Okay, bring it up. One more stretch. We're gonna take a deep side lunge. So kind of like what we did in one of our exercises, but you're just gonna come back, push into that back hip and get a stretch from your inner thigh. You can bring your hands to the floor if that helps, or just have them on top of your quads. I hope that you keep showing up here to work out with me. Love having you here. I really was afraid to ever post anything on YouTube. I'm really not good at that stuff, but I love the idea of giving workouts to people that they don't have to pay for. Let's switch sides. When I was first working out at home, you know, I didn't have a lot of money and I needed workouts and YouTube was not a thing back then. So I had DVDs, but then, you know, it's, you're doing the same workout all the time and it's good to switch it up. So I just want to provide you with workouts you can do at home don't have to have a crazy amount of space or crazy amount of equipment that doesn't cost you anything. It just costs your time and you can make time. We make time for the things that are important. So make this important to you. All right, let's come back to the middle. Just put your hands on your thighs, straight legs. And we're just one more stretch for those hamstrings. We're going to slowly rise up so that we don't get dizzy. Bring your hands or your feet in. Arms up, take a deep, deep breath. 
Let it go. Let's do one more. Deep, deep breath all the way up. Let it go. Thank you so much for working out with me today and I hope to see you again.